Well, if you watch today, you know that parts of the impeachment proceedings have been stultifyingly boring, but they have generated some fairly amusing and revealing video clips. For example, today, Senator Chuck Schumer explained how even with no chance of removing the president at the end of the process, impeachment is still absolutely necessary for this country and every other problem we face must go on hold to pursue it. Watch. The only power that the American people have when a president abuses power other than elections is this impeachment process. Well, it turns out we've been in this place before. If you're getting a creeping feeling of deja vu, impeachment, Chuck Schumer, yeah, you're not misremembering it. It was a little over two decades ago that Schumer waited on another impeachment with a very different take. Here it is. I think today is a sad day. It's a sad day for the country. It's a potentially sad day for the Senate. It seems to me that no good case has been made for witnesses. There's no need to continue forward because there are certainly not two-thirds for impeachment. Okay, it wasn't a completely different point of view. Chuck Schumer was still extremely sad about impeachment even back then. But was he prayerful? We'll be investigating that. We'll bring in the news when we find it. The saddest, though, of all is that even if this impeachment trial ends quickly, and it may, in some sense, it may never really stop. Congresswoman Maxine Waters of Los Angeles is pointing the way for her party. If this impeachment fails, she's telling us, we'll just try something else. Watch. We will not stop. Whether or not that leads to another impeachment activity, I don't know. But I know we must continue with the work uh, that our constituents have elected us to come to Congress to do. Indeed. Carry on, ma'am. <laughs> and that work, of course, is impeachment. Impeachment now, impeachment tomorrow, impeachment forever. Before long, impeachment will have its own cabinet secretary. Hunter Biden, of course, is at the heart of this story. So far, it remains unclear whether we will see him here in Washington, whether he'll testify during this trial. Mitch McConnell doesn't seem to want him to. Congressman Adam Schiff, meanwhile, says that asking Hunter Biden about what were clearly corrupt business dealings in Ukraine is not a valid use of the public's time. Hunter Biden, for example, can't tell us anything about whether the president withheld military aid, whether he withheld that aid to coerce Ukraine to conduct political investigations, or why he wouldn't meet with the president of Ukraine. The only purpose in putting him on their list is they wish to trade material witnesses like Mr. Bolton and Mulvaney uh, and others for immaterial ones that will allow them to continue to attack a political opponent. That's an illegitimate uh, abuse of the trial.